If you rely on the keyboard more than the mouse, you'll want to know about keyboard shortcuts in Excel 2010. The shortcuts that begin with the control key are all still there, and you use them like you always have. For example, Control plus N opens a new workbook, and you press Control plus S to save the new file. Control plus O still opens a file, and Control plus P takes you to the Print tab in Backstage View. But, starting with Office 2007, the ribbon also provides new shortcuts called key tips. Every ribbon command has a key tip, and you use them by pressing the Alt key. For example, pressing Alt displays the key tips for each tab. Once they appear, just press the letter or number for the command you want to use. For example, if I press H for the Home tab, I see the key tips for all the commands on that tab. And if I press FC, I can choose a theme color. To close that color picker, just press Escape. You can also use key tips in Backstage View. To do that, you press Alt twice. The first press hides the key tips for the Home tab, and the second press displays the key tips for the entire ribbon. So I'll press F to go to Backstage View, and notice that the key tips for the tabs appear automatically when I navigate to Backstage View this way. From here, I'll press D to go to the Save and Send tab, and then press C to change the file type. From there, I'll press Q to select the Excel 2010 file format, and press Enter to start the Save As dialog box. I'll give the new file a name, and to finish saving, just press Enter. Key tips also appear for the Quick Access Toolbar, here in the upper left corner. The Quick Access Toolbar is a place for commands you use all the time, such as Save, Undo, or Open, and those commands are available no matter which ribbon tab you're using. What's more, you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar with almost any command that Excel provides.